back to the Eliverse with Professor World. I'm Professor World. Do you know what friction is? Friction is the resistance that one surface or object encounters when moving over another. Correct. No surface is completely smooth. That's why friction occurs. Even surfaces that are smooth to the eye have roughness. You just need a microscope to see it. It's science. Science. Friction. 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 That's how the Elamon friction got his name. Yes, the Elamon friction is made of magnesium carbonate. He has the power to increase and decrease friction. You know what? Let's demonstrate the science behind more friction and less friction. Friction test number one, cracker versus eraser. All right guys, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Whoa, the cracker beat the eraser down the ramp, which means the eraser has way more friction than the cracker. Ha, huh, you win this time, cracker, but let's see how well you do against ice. Oh man, now I gotta get another cracker. Friction test number two, ice versus cracker. Okay, cracker, ice, I want a fair race out there. Here we go. On your marks, get set, Go! Woo! The ice beat the cracker, which means ice has less friction than the cracker, and the cracker has less friction than the eraser. Ha! Friction! Let's look at friction in real life. Rock climbing, a challenging sport, one that relies heavily on friction. You see the chalk in their hands? Most climbing chalk is made out of magnesium carbonate. It's the same chemical composition as the Elemon friction. This chalk increases the friction between the wall and the rock climber's hands. The increased friction is used to improve the rock climber's grip by reducing perspiration. It's all thanks to magnesium carbonate. That's my cue, right? Is it time? Is it time? Yes, yes. it's time for the power of the periodic table! Magnesium, a key element in the Elemon friction's chemical formula. Atomic number, 12. Atomic symbol, Mg. Classification, alkaline earth metal. You can find magnesium alloys everywhere. It is frequently white in color and very light in weight. Many products are made of magnesium, specifically to be lightweight. Yep, products that contain magnesium include car seats, luggage, laptops, cameras, say cheese. And of course, some products include magnesium for its ability to absorb moisture. Like rock climbing chalk. You know what? Let's do an experiment. <coughs> Let's have fun with friction. I'm going to build a giant something. Something that reduces friction. Like a hovercraft? Yes, like a hovercraft. Hovercrafts are cool. The first thing we're gonna need is a super strong, super powerful, super duper leaf blower. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry, Calm. All is forgiven. Okay, now for the other supplies. First, let's start with our base. Professor World is measuring and marking out the center of the board. Right there. Now, he will use a nail and a string so he can trace a perfect circle. Next step is to cut out the circle with a jigsaw. And there you have it. A four foot circle of half inch plywood. Next, we're gonna cut a hole into our plywood. In this hole, we will put a PVC pipe. This pipe is what we'll insert our leaf blower into. Next, we'll lay down our plastic sheeting. The edges of the sheeting will be folded over and stapled to the top of the plywood. where all my staples went.
Trim it up, Professor. I think it's time to tape. Then we will screw a four inch wooden circle in the center. Now, we're going to cut four holes into the bottom of the plastic sheet. This will allow for the air to flow and the device to hover. A small piece of carpet will go down on top of it to ensure less friction. Now we'll turn it on and create less friction. Hovercrafts work because the air from the leaf blower pushes the air downwards to push the hovercraft upwards. This creates an air cushion, which decreases the surface friction between the craft and the ground. Oh man, you get to ride the hovercraft! Kong, you hover all over the place all day. It's not the same. Mm. Let's test it. It's time to hover! the best friction experiment ever! That's all for Professor World today!